earliest you can begin taking your Social Security benefit is at age 62. This, however, is well before full retirement age, and if you take your benefit early, it will be permanently reduced. For each year before full retirement age, your benefit will be reduced by an average of 6%. Recall our previous example. If your benefit at age 67 would be $2,400 per month, taking your benefit at age 62 would reduce that to $1,680 per month. That reduction can really add up over the years. While turning 62 is a milestone for Social Security, it may not be the ideal time to start taking your Social Security benefit. Unless you have health difficulties or otherwise don't have a very long life expectancy, it may pay to wait. In this case, as in many others, patience is a virtue. Full retirement age for those born in 1960 or later is 67. If you choose to start your Social Security benefit when you turn 67, you will receive your full benefit. Waiting five years from age 62 to age 67 should lead to a 30% permanent increase in your monthly benefit. If you can't afford to wait and meet your expenses without your Social Security benefit, this may lead to a larger lifetime benefit. Of course, you'll need to collect your benefit for some years before this becomes a better option. To a large extent, the decision of when to start taking your Social Security benefit depends on how long you and your spouse expect to live and receive benefits. Two things to keep in mind. First, average life expectancies are just that, averages, meaning you could certainly live longer than the average. Second, if your spouse lives longer, he or she will be eligible to receive a widow's or survivor's benefit. This may change the duration of your Social Security and may affect your decision of when to start that benefit. If you wait and start drawing your Social Security benefit when you are older than your full retirement age, you will receive more than 100% of your benefit. For each year after age 62 until age 70, your benefit will increase by around 8% per year. So, if you wait until age 70, you will be entitled to 124% of your benefit. This could result in the maximum overall benefit for you, but only if you or your surviving spouse can draw on that benefit for many years. The short answer is, it's personal. It depends on your financial situation and you and your spouse's life expectancy. Every month you delay starting your Social Security benefit from age 62 to age 70, your benefit will increase. Let's take a look at how three different options for starting your Social Security benefit play out. This graph shows the cumulative value of the Social Security benefit on the left or y-axis. The x-axis shows age over time. The green line shows what would happen if you started taking your benefit at age 62. You'd receive more monthly payments, but they would be smaller. The yellow line shows what would happen if you started taking your benefit five years later at age 67. You'd miss the first 60 monthly payments you would receive if you started Social Security at age 62, but before you turn 79, the cumulative value of your benefits would be greater, and that different difference would continue to increase. The light blue line shows what would happen if you started your Social Security benefit at age 70, when your benefit would reach its maximum. The total benefit you would receive with this option surpasses what you would receive from starting at age 62 after you turn 80, and it surpasses what you would receive if you started at age 67 after you turned 81. Deciding when to start taking Social Security can be complex. You may want to consider taking benefits earlier if you can't pay your bills without your benefits, you're in poor health and have a short life expectancy, or your spouse earns more than you and can wait to file for a higher benefit. On the other hand, you may want to consider waiting to take your benefits if you are working and your earned income would cause an increase to your benefits tax liability, you're in good health and expect to have a long life expectancy, or you earn more than your spouse and want to ensure your surviving spouse receives a higher benefit in the future. Determining when to start taking your Social Security benefit likely depends on a host of factors, including your and your spouse's life expectancies, your income needs, your tax situation, when you plan to retire, and your anticipated expenses in retirement. 
if you are looking for guidance, Fisher Investments may be able to help. Social Security can be a helpful supplement to your retirement income strategy. While everybody's situation is unique, if you are able to, wait as long as you can to start taking Social Security in order to maximize your benefit. Before determining when you will start taking your benefits, make sure you understand all of the expenses you have to account for and how the timing of your decision to start receiving benefits will impact your payments over time. If you enjoyed this video, you can click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified when we publish new content. Thanks for watching.